Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about a streamer that has been very well received in the audiophile community lately, the Volumeo Revo Plus. This Revo Plus is a high performance streamer, digital transport with digital outputs only. What it means is this Revo Plus doesn't have analog output. You will need to use it with an external high quality deck in order to stream music to your amplifier, headphone amp, and so on. This is built for audiophile who cares about sound quality and nothing else. But before we get into the details of the Vivo Plus, let's take a moment to talk about Volumeo's journey. From a pure software solution company to crafting high-end hardware that we are looking at today. Volumeo was founded sometime in 2012 to 2013 with a vision to change the way audio files listen to the music. Starting with an open source music player, the Volumeo operating system that quickly became the favorite among computer audio files back then. That platform enabled high res streaming and music management with ease. You may have experienced the Volumeo operating system if you are in a hobby for a long time like me. I use Volume operating system on a Raspberry Pi, on an old computer, and way before the streamer become popular like today. After finding success in the software space, Volume decided to expand into hardware. Their first product, the older Premio, I think was released pre-COVID, marked the start of their new journey. Since then, they have expanded the lineup to the Revo, the new Prevo, Integral, Motivo, and the latest, the Revo Plus. Each one is designed to elevate your audio experience. Now, let's talk about the Revo Plus. This, again, is a high performance digital transport designed for audio files who wants the best sound quality possible. Whether you are streaming, whether you are playing local high res music from NAS, USB drive, this Revo Plus has you covered. What makes the Revo Plus stand out? No gimmick, no fancy screen, and no tricks. Just pure audiophile performance for purists. It is about delivering sound quality and no distraction. If you are looking for a device that keeps things really simple and focused and delivering just pure sound quality, the Revo Plus may be your answer. The Revo Plus features a sleek brushed aluminum chassis that gives a premium and tireless look. It is not flashy, it is by no means showing off. It is about precision quality in every detail. Its minimalist design is crafted to fit perfectly in any audio file setup, whether you are working on a traditional setup or a modern or more modern gear setup. It is built solidly and the Revo Plus not only looks good, but it is built to last. At the front, oh, before I forget my pointer. At the front, you'll find a simple power button with LED. No other unnecessary button. Yes, this is the only button on the front to turn off or turn on or turn off the Revo Plus. On the back, you'll find carefully thought out selection of digital outputs a dedicated USB output for external DAC, a SPDIF output through coaxial and AES EBU, and what's more, an I2S output for DAC that comes with I2S input. All these designs are for maximum functionality without clutter. It is about clean, direct connection as a pure digital transport. Now, here is something that you don't see every day. Most reviewers talk about how the Revo Plus sound. As you guys know, this is not my forte. I can't really describe sound quality, especially when using language, my second language. But what I will do is I'll be opening it up and show you what is inside. This has not been done by any other reviewer on different channel. At least I have not seen it before. Well, today we are going to be the first one to do that. Let me take some time to dismantle the Revo Plus and show you the inner beauty. As usual, please do not do it at home, it voids the warranty. 
But uh, as this is our demo unit, I'll just sacrifice this and show you what is inside. I have most of the screw removed. All I need to do is just, just to remove two of them so that I can slide the Vivo Plus apart. Yes, by sliding them apart. I gotta do, do, do it really carefully as I'm not accustomed to doing this often. Oops. By sliding the PCB and the chassis out. It's a very well designed piece that is well thought out. And this is brushed aluminum, at least 3mm thick, and it's of very high quality. Let me just put it aside. I'm gonna make it later. Okay, this is the Vivo Plus internal and showing right in front of you or rather in front of the screen okay let this let me go through one by one to walk you through what is inside and what it does as a circuitry here first the dc power the dc power comes from a dc jacket uh, at the back the Revo plus runs a very well designed dc power input with lrc filtering circuitry just look at the power bank here uh, the capacitor bank the capacitor bank here are from a reputable company called Rubicon. They make great quality capacitor and Volumeo decided to use them. This LRC filtering circuitry helps to remove unwanted noise, ripple, interference that may generate from a switch mode power supply that come with the Vivo Plus package. This ensures good quality power supply to supply to the circuitry for its operation. Good power equals the good sound. The Vivo Plus comes with a switch mode power supply. As we know, upgrading the switch mode power supply to a linear power supply can and will improve the sound quality. That was the reason why Volumeo also offer Linio 5 linear power supply that can be used to power up the Vivo Plus. For us, we will be offering the LH5 LPS25 VA that works really, really well with the Vivo Plus. I actually have it on my the other end of the table. I'm going to connect it later to the Vivo Plus to power up the unit. All right, at the heart of the Vivo Plus is a very powerful ARM processor. It is neatly mounted as a daughter board to the motherboard. This modular design helps signal integrity and heat management while keeping the core processing separate from the critical audio circuitry. Now, handling the system control is a dedicated microcontroller here. Uh, this is not what you will see usually. Usually what other people or other manufacturer does is um, they will use the same microprocessor or the process ARM processor to do everything. But Volumeo decided to have a separate control unit for the rest of the operation. This keeps the operation running smoothly without interfering with the audio signal chain. You get seamless integration while keeping the audio chain and the processing separated. Now, finally, the digital outputs. These are the digital output circuitry very neatly and beautifully laid out on the left, on the left side of the, of the screen. First, we'll go through the USB audio circuitry. This is the USB audio port and there are components on the PCB to filter the filter as much as possible before an external USB DAC connection. The next one is where the older Revo do not have an I2S output. A bunch of components here, at least let me do a naked eye calculation, at least 50 of them to do its job to convert the LV CMOS to LVDS for an I2S output for high resolution signal transmission to compatible DAC with such an input. And lastly, the SPDIF and AES EBO output built to deliver low jitter and high signal integrity signal to DAC that comes with such an input. Every component inside the Vivo Plus is designed with one goal, pure, uncompromised audio quality, just sound quality, nothing else. There's no screen, there's no other fancy stuff. This thing is designed for audiophile who just care about sound quality. Do I need to show you setting up this guy? Um, yes, I have most of the stuff on my desk. I'll, I'll show it to you. So setting up the, the Revo Plus is pretty simple. Let me just have it covered back before, before any connection. Um, just give me some time. Again, I gotta do it carefully. 
I'm not accustomed to to dismantle a vivo. Slide it in carefully. Uh, all my videos are uncut, so I hope I do not make any mistake. Or don't at least don't damage anything. Okay. I have to put out a disclaimer. Uh, I have not asked Volumeo permission whether should I or should I not uh, show the internal of the Volumeo Rio Plus, but here we are. This video is going to upload pretty soon, and when Volumeo see it, we'll see it. We'll deal with it. Okay, setting up of the Vivo Plus is straightforward. Uh, just a few simple steps, and you'll be able to enjoy the music. To get the best sound quality, you will need a high quality deck. We naturally will recommend pairing the Vivo Plus with the latest Live Harmony Micro deck. It is a compact, high end, discrete, R to R balanced deck designed to complement the digital outputs of the Vivo Plus perfectly. It comes with USB input, R2S input, coaxial input that can be connected to the Vivo Plus. Naturally, again, I will recommend the USB or I2S input. If you prefer convenient or plug and play simplicity, the USB input will be the recommendation. Uh, let me just power up the units and show it to you. Um, the output from the LPS VA, LPS um, 25VA, a 5 volt uh, linear power supply that I have on the desk. Once the power is power cord is connected to the Revo Plus, the red color LED on the front panel lit up. Press on the button once. It will go into green color and it is telling us that the real plus is booting up and once it is ready for operation it will be in blue color if you want to use wi-fi it is available but for stability i will always recommend rj45 ethernet hardwire connection um, i do not have a hardwire with me but wi-fi will work well as well um, Let's connect the Vivo Plus with an external deck. Uh, this is a linear power supply again. I'll power up the Live Harmony Micro deck. For a simple connection, a USB cable like this will do the job. It is a USB Type A to Type B cable. A simple cable that you can just plug into the devices to link them up. Um, short. It's, it's kind of difficult. Okay, connect this USB cable to the USB output of the Vivo Plus. Afterwards, connect the other end of the USB cable to the USB input of the Live Harmony Micro Deck. Once it is connected, you are all set with the digital connection of the Vivo Plus with an external deck. And all you need to do is to connect the output of the deck to your preamp, to your integrator amp, or to your headphone amp. Once the unit is powered up, um, the volume operating system will detect an external deck connection and you will be able to choose the output accordingly. So it is detected and I wouldn't bot you with all the configuration and setting and so on with the operating system. You get what I mean. It's pretty straightforward. It is, it is built by human for human. It is quite user friendly, I would say. I should talk about the HDMI i squares connection. Uh, let me just remove the USB cable and put it safely aside. For the HDMI i squares connection, I always recommend to use a good quality but short cable. Please keep the HDMI i squares cable um, probably less than a meter length to ensure a higher quality signal transmission uh, from the streamer to the deck. i squares comprises few different signal and this signal is kind of sensitive to interference, shielding, and so on. Keeping the HDMI i squares cable short has a lot more advantage compared to the longer one. So connect the i squares output of the Revo Plus. It's right over here to this short HDMI cable. Yes, this is pretty short. This is only like 0.5 meter. And the other end, We'll go to the Revo, we'll go to the Harmony Micro Deck i squares input. Once it is connected, you need to select the i squares input accordingly so that it will it will do its job. i squares has no industrial standard. 
Volumio or Live has I2S pinout configuration. To make things simple, I would recommend keeping the Live Harmony Micro Deck I2S input to Live mode. And on the Vivo Plus, in the configuration page, you will need to select the correct deck model and so on to configure its I2 output to be compatible with the deck you have connected. That's about it. Setting up is pretty straightforward. The next thing you will need to do is to click on the favorite track and hit play. And let the Vivo Plus and the volume and the Harmony Micro Deck to do its job for beautiful, beautiful music. That's it. A no compromise, high fidelity system that delivers music at its best. Simple to set up, exceptional to listen to. I have been listening to the Vivo Plus and the Live Harmony Micro Deck on my desktop setup. I was really impressed by the improvement of the Vivo Plus as compared to the older Vivo. <laughs> I even dropped an email to congratulate the Volume team for creating such a device for purist audiophile. It's a powerful digital transport designed to bring the best out of your audio system. If you want to take your music experience to the next level, the Vivo Plus should really be in your bucket list. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment so that we can improve. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.